Albany, Georgia, nicknamed the Good Life City, yet many of its residents were broken and dissatisfied. These residents were in search of a voice, a voice that would sound the alarm of hope, a voice of distinction that would wake them out of a pious stupor, a voice that would stir the waters of imagination inside thirsty souls. Little did these Albanians know that their prayer was born in Muncie, Indiana. His gifts were tempered to the North and the Midwest. He grew in grace, married his favor, and together the Lord sent their little family to an isolated place. Picture this, Huntington, England, 2001. A dreamer sits at his office and begins to type a document. What will I do for the rest of my life? Only this dreamer, his God, and the host of heaven know the full content of this document. But there is one clause that became the catalyst for the adventure of a lifetime. I will pastor a church called Rama International Ministry. A year later, Scott Sanders received a pink slip from his job. The same week, he had to preach at a service in Jekyll Island. Unknowingly, he was being scouted as a pastor for a group of hungry and hurting individuals in Albany, Georgia. That pink slip became the passport to a purposeful future. In 2003, Rama International Ministries was born. Pastor Scott and at that time, Lady Cynthia Sanders sacrificed their lives for the work of the ministry. Each year, they got stronger, conquered challenges, and developed winners. Here are some of the highlights. In 2012, Pastor Sanders connects with Bishop Daniel Robertson Jr. and the church gains greater momentum with two mortgages paid off in 2012 and 2016 and over $2 million in assets paid in full. In 2015, First Lady Sanders becomes co-pastor sick and her anointing goes to another level. Wherever you're struggling, the Holy Spirit will grab your hand and expose you to revelation that's going to cause you to break out of that situation. In 2015, Pastor Scott T. Sanders tapped into his gift of book writing and became an author by birthing Holy Spirit training. Shh, he got another masterpiece on the way, but don't tell nobody, don't tell. In the same year, Raymond becomes truly international, taking the inaugural missions trip with Pastor Julian Dangerfield and Bishop Daniel Robertson Jr. In 2017, Pastor and Co-Pastor connect with Apostle Leroy Thompson Sr. and this apostolic covering takes their anointing to new and unprecedented levels. All your time, all your seed, all your giving, about to show up at one time. In January of 2020, Rainbow's Music and Arts Ministry recorded their first gospel album, Something Fresh. In that self-same year, Pastor, much like King David, is anointed privately as MVB, Master, Master Vision, Vision Bearer. Bear, 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 bear. Serious new virus. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. The first U.S. case has been detected in the coronavirus. In March of 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic put the outside world on pause. But our leaders kept going. Our pastors' methods have changed, but not their message. Pastor Sanders showed up weekly, giving people hope from behind his office desk. Weekly communion, the application of the anointed oil, and the use of the name of Jesus has kept them and their members strong. The end result? Their reach has gotten bigger. Now Pastor 
and co-pastor Sanders lead Rama from our headquarters in Albany, Georgia, and Rama Nation eChurch worldwide. Pastor's voice can be heard from behind prison walls in Georgia all the way to the military base in Turkey. Co-pastor is activating grace in women around the world through her impartations and monthly prayer calls. In the final quarter of 2020, Rayma experienced the realization of another dream placed in our man of God's heart, Transformation Cell Group. Every Monday at 7 p.m., our pastors get to travel to different small groups through Zoom calls and hear the Rayma that members and visitors are taken from the word that is preached on Sundays. It's a whole new way for them to see the fruit of their labor. And the winning didn't stop there. In 2021, our pastors were project managers, overseeing the $130,000 roof replacement for this house. And because they've taken great care of this house, God flowed money to their house. Over $180,000 flowed to them supernaturally, and they paid off the balance of their luxury motor coach, also known as their mobile vacation home. Remember, all of this happened during a pandemic. The blessings were hitting our spiritual parents and flowing to their children at the same time. Last year, our leaders blessed 11 houses, blessed six businesses and performed three weddings, one of which was the royal wedding of their oldest prince, Scott II. All glory goes to God. By His grace, our spiritual parents will only gain momentum. And the question that we will forever ask, what's next?